Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to cover some of your practice problems. I'm going to do an example where we solve for frequency, an example where we solve for speed, and my last example will be solving for wavelength. Okay, so um, by now you should have done your notes over transverse waves. So you should know that your V once again stands for velocity, F stands for frequency, and this funny little Greek symbol here is lambda, and lambda stands for your wavelength, okay? So we have our nice triangle to help us get our formulas, or derive our formulas, and so in order to solve for velocity, I know it's right here, but um, we're gonna derive all the equations. So to find a velocity, you cover up the V, and what's left is lambda right next to frequency. And since they're across from each other, we multiply them, okay? For solving for wavelength, which is lambda, we cover up the lambda, and we see that there is V over F. So we solve for wavelength by doing velocity divided by frequency. And finally, to solve for frequency, we cover up the F, and we see that velocity over wavelength gives us frequency. Okay, so now, oops, that is not what I intended. We're going to solve our first problem, number five, using our frequency equation. Okay, so again, frequency is equal to velocity divided by wavelength. And I'm gonna move this so I can see better. All right, and what they're telling me is that my lambda or wavelength is 502 kilometers and my speed is 100 meters per second, okay? So we do have a problem with our units the way they are, okay? Remember, our units for length need to be the same. We have our speed in meters per second, and we have our distance of our wavelength in kilometers. So what we need to do is convert kilometers to meters. And remember we do that with kiss her daily because divorce costs millions, okay? So because we're working with kilometers, um, I'm gonna rewrite the 502. Our decimal is right here, okay, and that is where it is whenever you have kilometers. But we want meters, which is our base unit, okay? Not to get confused with this M over, M over here, which stands for the prefix milli, okay? So what we're going to do is we need to take our decimal from kilo to our base unit, and we do that by moving our decimal three times to the right, which is the same as multiplying by 1,000, okay? So I'm gonna move my decimal one, two, three times to the right. So what I just found out is that 502 kilometers is equal to 502,000 meters, okay? So now I can use this number to plug in to my frequency equation. Okay, so going back to that equation, we're going to do our speed, which they're using interchangeably with velocity, and that is 100 meters per second divided by 502,000 meters. I know that's kind of confusing. This is a box up by itself, okay? That's not our answer. It's just part of what we need to solve for our answer, okay? So I'm gonna plug this calculation into my calculator. 100 divided by 502,000. And I'm getting a very small number, okay? So on your homework, um, because your homework is case sensitive, 
I don't want you to use scientific notation because there's so much room for error in a case sensitive program. So we're just going to write it out um, in its long nasty form, okay? So our answer for our frequency, and you're not gonna put the F, you're just gonna give me the number without the units in the program, but I'm going to put the answer with units here, okay? So I'm getting point zero 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 one nine nine two but I'm just rounding that to point zero 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 one nine nine okay and that is Hertz it hurts no um Hertz is the unit that we use for frequency okay so what you're going to enter into class kick is just going to be this number right here okay um yeah, so another question or a comment that I put on the assignment is that you're using three sig figs. Remember, zeros do not count as sig figs. So these right here are my three sig figs. These three zeros do not count, okay? But you still write the whole number, okay? So for the next question, number seven, we're working with kilometers again, and this time we're calculating speed, okay? So our calculation for speed or velocity, if you want to look back, velocity is lambda times frequency, lambda being wavelength, okay? And of course we need to convert kilometers to meters first, and since I explained it, before, I'm just going to go ahead and convert by moving my decimal three times to the right, filling in those little humps with zeros, and that gives me 1,378,000 um, meters. Okay, so now I can plug this in, 1,378,000 times 97. All right, I plug into my calculator, 1378000 times 97, and I'm getting another huge number. Well, I, I say another huge, no, my first huge number, because um, <laughs> that previous one was really small. This number is 133,666,000. Meters per second, and again because class kick is is case sensitive, I didn't want y'all to put in units because y'all would be like Miss Perkins, this is not fair. I think I got the right answer, but my <laughs> it's just such a struggle to put it in the program. Um, again, well I say again like I said it before, but I haven't. Sorry. <laughs> um. In the program, I made the allowable answers like you can either put your commas or not put commas. Just don't put a decimal with your whole numbers. And like, yeah, don't put a decimal with whole numbers. And if you have a decimal, I specify in the program how many sig figs to use and how many decimal places I want. Okay. And for my last question, we're going to be looking to find the wavelength. If your velocity is 50 meters per second and your frequency is 25 hertz, okay? Your wavelength is equal to velocity divided by frequency. And this is a simple plug-in because we have all the correct units, okay? So my velocity is 50 meters per second divided by 25 hertz. And 50 divided by 25 is 2, okay? And my unit for wavelength is meters, okay? So if you wonder how we take these units and end up getting meters, that's because hertz is equal to 1 divided by seconds, okay? So... It's basically the reciprocal of your time, okay? So 
if we were to do meters per second divided by one over seconds, okay, we, in order to divide fractions, we have to flip and multiply. So this is the same as meters per second times seconds over one. Your seconds will cancel. Meters over one is equal to meters. So that's how we get two meters, or how we get meters for our answer. Okay, so I hope that that helped you. Oh, no, I continue drawing all over my stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped you. And if you have any more questions, don't be afraid to ask.